I was about six years old and um, and it was a place called Withensea and you know we, we just thought it was beautiful and perfect and I, I, I sort of remember really vividly going on those holidays and then be we went there every year that that was the only place we went because that's probably what we could only what we could afford and um, I mean, there used to be a big sort of arcade area called Jimmy's. And I remember a fair... I can, I can still see it because it had such a powerful, you know, effect on me. And there was a painting of the Thunderbirds because obviously this is 73, so it's only about four or five years since the Thunderbirds has, has been on in the 60s. And the Doctor, Doctor Who, I remember sort of looking at my mum and dad and thinking... Am I the only one that's seeing this? You know, and it was only like a, a naive sort of painting, you know, on, on this fairground, but it was kind of powerful. It kind of felt, you know, that it was um, it was something special. And it was sort of, it started off something in my head about working out that somebody had physically painted that to look like that. And that was such a powerful thing for me. And my art comes directly from there and I can trace everything back to that day, being on holiday with mum and dad and it's stopping me in my tracks. I first became disabled as an 11 year old kid. I got chicken pox and the next thing I know I'm rushed into hospital and paralyzed from the neck down for, for a year. When I was in bed, for all those years, and it was years, you know, I lived in my head and went off on, I invented, I, I imagined what this, what the, what the Jason that wasn't ill, wasn't disabled, what he was doing, the teenage version of me. When you look at my artwork and you know this stuff, you can see those connections. So I came down to Folkestone to look at the site, um, the old William Harvey statue there, and I didn't know much about William Harvey. I'd heard about him, but uh, knew a little bit about, you know, was obviously finding out about him on the day. A guy that kind of discovered how the, the heart worked, the stuff that was going on, these microscopic things that were happening inside your body, kind of rang, rang a bell. Something started to click because this, this COVID-19 thing was, was happening and it was in the news. They reckon it could be a pandemic. And um, my condition is, means that my immune system uh, attacks itself, you know, attacks my, my body instead of fighting off viruses. So you can imagine what was going through my head. I was terrified uh, as a person that felt like a sitting duck, a disabled person that was early 50s and, you know, a bit overweight and all that kind of stuff. Crikey, it was, it was you know, like there's a big arrow above my, my head. So, w William Harvey, um, my condition and the COVID pandemic, all these things went into the work and started to, you know, I started to, to create the design for, for, for the sculpture. So I always start with the head and work my way down. And the head is split in half. So you've got one half that's kind of um, skull. And, and then the other side of the face, it's a, a, a masked figure. And, and that goes back to when I was a kid and I was in bed and couldn't, couldn't move anything from... My mum used to decorate my face because it was the only thing I could feel. All my characters have that that pose on their hands. Every sculpture I do, and it it comes from when I was paralysed from the neck down. I used to break my fingers accidentally a lot. <laughs> they used to because my bones were very brittle. So I've got I've got loads of photographs as a kid in the wheelchair, sort of pointing, you know, because I had to they had to sort of reset my finger. My character is pointing at the heart, there's, and there's a space. There's a space where the heart should be, 
and he's looking at William Harvey and there's something quite sort of profound about that I think and um, we developed an app that would go with the, the sculpture and the app is of a giant heart so the missing heart is it forms in between William Harvey and my Argonaut so on the fleshy side it's it's absolutely dripping in tattoos and they, they all have little sort of expressions and little things to do with seafaring, but kind of subverting. Another thing I've included where I've had all my operations as well. So I've done little diagrams of where they take place. The 11 year old me didn't have much of a future. The future was scary, so it's simply wonderful that I'm looking back over the years and getting a sense of, you've done it.